In this video, I'm going to show how to create a DTO in Java the fast way by using Lombok. I'll be using IntelliJ IDEA in this demonstration. So why do we use Lombok? It saves us a lot of typing by making boilerplate code for us by using annotations. A DTO in Java is a data transfer object, or a data class, or a noun class, if you will. And with Java best practices, there are certain things we expect in a DTO getter and setters for each of our accessible attributes, an equals method, a hash code method, a two-string method, so on and so forth. And traditionally, this has required a lot of typing, but Lombok allows us to just put in an annotation and it does it for us. A lot more Kotlin-like, where Kotlin doesn't require as much typing. And Lombok additionally has great IDE support. So let's jump right in. First, a quick before and after. Lombok is going to add a dependency to our Maven POM XML. And if you take a look right now, we don't have anything in there. And as a matter of fact, part of what I want to show in this video is how useful the IDE is in helping us out. So I'm going to make a new package under my main package, and I'm just going to call it DTO for data transfer objects. And then underneath that, we'll right click and say new Java class. Keep class selected, and let's call this specimen because this is going to represent essentially a specimen of a plant. We'll go ahead and add it to our version control system. And now in here, we'll give it a few properties. Now you see how it essentially represents a noun because we have the specimen, which itself is a noun. And then each of these attributes is like an adjective that describes the noun. Now, normally what we would do is add getters and setters for each of these and two string and so on and so forth. But let's do it the Lombok approach. We're simply going to say at data right here in the class declaration line. Now, I will Alt Enter, which tells IntelliJ, hey, help me out here. Tell me what's going on here. And note that one of the options that comes up is add Maven dependency. Now, I tried a good guess here, but I don't see Lombok here. So no problem. We'll go to search for artifact and just say L-O-M-B-O-K. -okay. And note the about the first one to come up, maybe it's the second one there actually, is org project Lombok, Lombok, and then at the time of this recording, 1.18.12. Let's go ahead and choose add. We go back to Maven and we see that it has added a dependency here, but it's giving me a little note here that says, hey, time to refresh. So let's go ahead and hit this, resolving dependencies. And if you saw just a moment ago down there, it had a little spinner, a little progress bar that said it was downloading Lombok. And sure enough, in our M2 directory, we see a fresh folder has been created, Project Lombok. Now let's go back to specimen and try one more time. We notice that annotation is still red, but let's do an Alt Enter. And this time it says, oh, I know who you mean. You mean Lombok data. And you see there it pulls Lombok into our class. Now we also need to add Lombok to our IDE. So go to File and then choose Settings. And then choose Plugins. And then search for Lombok. Install. Of course, read the entire license agreement and OK. We get a warning, so we'll go ahead and enable annotation processing. Now, the good news is a lot of this only needs to be done once. Adding Lombok to the IDE, you only need to do once for all of your projects. And then adding Lombok to a POM is one project by one project. So just do that to the projects where you want to add it. After you've added it, every DTO you make will be as easy as the specimen DTO that we made here, where you see all we needed to do was define the attributes. And then all the boilerplate stuff gets added automatically for us simply by using this at data annotation and this corresponding import. Now, let's see if it works. I'm going to just go to a controller I created earlier and put some throwaway code in here, but nonetheless. Specimen specimen equals new specimen and then specimen. Now that's really weird. Do you see set description there? There's a method here called set description. And if we take a look at our specimen class, there is no method called set description. So you see what Lombok has done for us. It's created these. And once we've added all the support, we can even get autocomplete from it. So now let's say string desk equals specimen dot get description. This is easy to see when we run the program in the debugger. I'll go ahead and hit refresh, and we'll see that IntelliJ IDEA lights up in blue to indicate that the debugger is going. And so the blue line is waiting for me to press F8 to say continue. So we go ahead and create our specimen. 
Now line 17, we press F8, which will populate our specimen with this description. So you see, when I mouse over right now, it doesn't have anything in the description except for null. But when I choose F8 and then I mouse over, we'll see that description has been populated to foo. And indeed, if I choose F8 one more time, we can see this temporary variable DESC now contains this value foo that we put into the specimen and then we pulled out of the specimen. So I hope this look at using Lombok to help you to create a DTO quickly was helpful, and I look forward to reading your comments. Thank you.